About 25 years ago, I started thinking about work time and was asking the question why, uh, given the extraordinary productivity of the American economy, uh, were people not working less? We had a leisure society expected by the 1970s and 1980s. A uh, four-day work week was predicted. People were worried about a crisis of leisure time because technological advance made labor less and less necessary to produce high levels of output. But instead, uh, as I started looking at the numbers, I noticed that not only were we not becoming the leisured society, but people seemed to be working more hours. There was more and more time pressure. And as I began to calculate what had happened to annual working hours over recent decades, I found that hours of work uh, began a sharp upward turn in the 1970s and have continued rising since then. We have now more than three decades of increasing hours of work in the United States. So people became uh, overworked Americans rather than um, leisured ones. What I found is that uh, two major factors have led to rising hours of work. The first is that firms uh, began to make it increasingly difficult for unions and em employees to take productivity growth in the form of shorter hours. So they put up a lot of resistance to hours reductions. Of course, the other side of that uh, equation is that the union movement became very weak in the post-World War II era, and unions had been the major force for hours reductions in the previous century. I realized there was another part to it, which was it wasn't just about what was happening in the labor market. Uh, it's also the fact that long hours of work translated into higher incomes for employees. And people went out and spent those incomes. If you look at what happened in the 1980s and 90s, you see a dramatic upscaling of the American dream. What used to be an aspiration for a comfortable middle class standard of living. A small house with a white picket fence, 2.2 kids, a car, and has morphed into widespread desires for McMansions, the upscaling of vehicles. There's been a, a dramatic upscaling uh, to an affluent style of life. Comfort is no longer enough. People want luxury. I call it the new consumerism, and it involves a dramatic shifting in the kinds of aspirations that people have all across the income spectrum.